Okay, so in this video I want to talk about uh, Vanu in One Piece and what I think will happen after Vanu and uh, my speculation. Obviously, what kind of arc is coming after and all of this kind of thing. So, you probably, yeah. Okay. The thing here is that we have been in, uh, in One Piece arc in Vanu all the way to 2022, that is today. So, this is the final uh, option, so, so soon um, uh, one will end, it, will end, and so you know my speculation is that uh, Kai, uh, Blackbeard will come to Vano and Blackbeard will uh, defeat uh, uh, Big Mom and take her devil fruit because, uh, you, or if you have seen my other video, you already know because he, uh, Blackbeard will use the devil fruit to wake up a, a, a army to help him in the war against the against the world government, Monkey D. Luffy Alliance, and the Revolution Army. So this, uh, and obviously Shanks. So I think that is uh, Blackbeard's one of his plans, he had many plans, or his, his, one of his first plan was that he joins uh, White, White Bear's crew, the White Bear Pirates, because he knows that the White Bear Pirates, uh, if they find a devil fruit, the character, the person that finds a devil fruit, he uh, was allowed um, to eat that fruit and get the power from that fruit. And there was a reason for that, why Blackbeard um, killed uh, Fatch. Because he wants the yummy no meat, dark dark fruit. Uh, and that fruit is obviously is a key for taking other devil fruit. Because if you if you touch somebody with that, with, when you have this power, you neutralize the, uh, the enemy's ability to do anything against you if that person has a devil fruit. So it's like a sea stone, in some sense, a sea stone devil fruit that neutralizes people and you can take. Uh, that they were for yourself, and that is how obviously how he defeats Ace because he he can just neutralize that devil fruit, and how he, later on how he takes a uh, white bread devil fruit. The only thing that is different from uh, how Big Mom uh, takes from uh, Miss Caramel uh, her devil fruit when she eat when she eats up uh, eat up Miss Caramel is that. Blackbeard used two um, two different devil fruits. And he ha he is the only one so far we know in one piece that have two devil fruits. And because we hear it from one of the agents in world government say that it's even a risk to take one devil fruit and take two is just to, to ask for it. But the question here is that we do not know if that is true. Maybe everybody can eat two devil fruit and have two different abilities, or maybe that is true. They maybe not can, and only one they can use. If they try to use one more, they're gonna be too much for their for their body, and they maybe explode uh, like this. And um, anyways, so the point here is that if Blackbeard can eat one more devil fruit, if he, if he can have three devil fruits. Uh, and if that is so, I think the third one will be Big Mom's Devil Fruit because that is the best Devil Fruit for Blackbeard's um, benefit in the future because of the army and because of what he can do with his with the Devil Fruit and this kind of thing. Um, yeah, um, so all of this. Um, yeah, what I think more is that. Um, yeah, I, I just, what, what I say is that, what I just mean is that you have to think, obviously, separately um, from how Big Mom used her, her devil fruit, the soul, soul, and me, and you have to look at how Blackbeard probably going to use it, because 
Blackbeard obviously have planned all of this uh, long before, long hand before all these different clans, this, this movement to dominate the world. So obviously he all of the character that he has chosen for his his Titanic captains are obviously characters that is there for helping him to get his gold. Obviously he know that that the, the enemies he have, the other emperors are what Kaido kind of obviously did, he had the dragon fruit he can turn into a fish fish no me, he turn he can turn it yeah a, a dragon and Big Mom the soul fruit um so this is the obviously Big Mom's fruit is obviously the best fruit for Blackbeard because what he can do with it because he can have different mindset and different mindset than uh, Big Mom has when when she when she when she when she use it when, when she use it um, and I think already one of the Blackbeard pirates is already on Vano and that is Catherine and Devon. Uh, disguised as because we, we can see that use the nine tail fox devil fruit that gives her the possibility to transform to a, a, some uh, to other characters even if they are dead um so that means that means she can be anyone living or dead and she can speak like them but she don't we don't know yet if she can use their devil fruits when she are transformed to them. I don't think so because this may be too overpowered. But anyways, we know that she can have that. She have that ability, her, her devil fruit. And this is absolutely a possibility that that Blackbeard obviously have tell her because Blackbeard was on the ship uh, when. Odin was on the ship with his wife, and that is the character that now play the instrument for uh, Yamato Orochi. And obviously, maybe he, Blackbeard tells her what she has to say to uh, Yamato Orochi, to, for Yamato Orochi to believe that that is truly her. And we also know why uh, Catherine and Devon was in prison in the in, in Hell Down was because she was an infamous uh, female serial killer. And her her specialty was that she transform to the husband to the wife that was that she kills later on. So obviously, I think that is is her specialty. And obviously, Yamato Rochi is not the smartest character, so it's probably very easy for uh, Catherine Devon to use this kind of uh, trickery. To yeah, to to take him take him out. The other speculation for if this is not Catherine and Devon is that it's one of the CP Zero agents, Devon's ability, and the, I think the guy with the white mask and like the, the monologue uh, white mask that he, he maybe his devil fruit is that he, he can control illusions that it makes us that people believe that they see things and hear things that do not exist. It's not there. That that is my other speculation. What I think what I, what I think is more likelier in my personal opinion I think more likely that this is Catherine and Devon. Because obviously it's very easy for the Blackbird Pirate right now to come on Vano. Uh, because for example to come there for one of their members he is Sanjang Wolf and we know that Sanjang Wolf his ability is to uh, to grow and crimp. So he can be a very big giant, and we know that he can just climb up on the mountain, and then just some of the black people can just uh, sit on him and then jump off when they are uh, close enough. Uh, yeah, so, but I really, really hope that we soon gonna leave Vano because Vano is interesting, obviously much more interesting for, in my opinion. Then uh, the Cake Island with Big Mom. I, I never read that arc. It was probably the most boring arc. I, I don't like Big Mom. The only character I think is a bit interesting um, in that arc is Katakuri. Uh, 
is only one maybe that curry and spear and spear 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 um, but the rest of yeah the rest of the characters in in the uh, the arc with big mom is probably the most probably for me personally one of the most boring arcs um, uh, in comparison how much different kind of characters we see in one with like with all the like the beast uh, the mythical ancient beast uh, so and devil fruits like mutton with mammoths uh, saber tooth cat and ancient spiders um, ceratops um, and other other dinosaur or uh, and and uh, Tyrannodon, uh, Spinosaurus, you know, sp oh yeah, Spinosaurus. So it's, I think for me personally, it's much more. I lo much pref more prefer uh, sp that specific arc over the Cake Island. Is a, probably say a totally wrong um, name of it. Um, but I really want to see some other art. We know also that they have like a One Piece version of China. It's, uh, that Wano is obviously a One Piece version of Japan. So uh, we know that some of them character is based on Chinese characters. That is on the uh, Allied uh, Legion fleet with Monkey Luffy. With obviously right now I totally forget their name. Um, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's just my speculation, uh, what what I think, and we we're gonna get the next chapter one thousand thirty thirty seven uh, on Thursday, I uh, think, and obviously, obviously before that we gonna get some like uh, uh, like some drawing. Uh, uh, spoilers. So obviously on Reddit, you can find all the all the spoilers. And uh, so like it's a show where they show like well something. Um, yeah, because I think the, we have been on one so long, and the fight between Monkey Luffy and, uh, and, and Kaido is a bit a bit drawn out right now because it have been so long, and I really think we should have to go on, continue on in the journey. And I do not think Monkey Luffy will be the character uh, that defeats uh, Kaido because I think Kaido uh, is. You cannot defeat Kaido with like, this kind of tactic. You have to have a sample a devil fruit like Blackbeard to defeat him. Uh, that neutralizes his power because it's not, Black, it's not Kaido's devil fruit that makes him so strong. Is that he is only, and you you know that only cannot not die in a normal way, and if you push it on with his devil fruit, you you're gonna get a a character that is almost impossible to defeat, and obviously that is the reason for when uh, many times when uh, Kaido was captured of the world government and they tried to kill him many different ways. And obviously we know that in that time he have his devil fruit. So obviously where the government knows when they capture somebody, you have this is something very important that you have to understand when you think about uh, Kaido is that Kaido ha Kaido gets his devil fruit after Big Mom. So Big Mom gets his her devil fruit before she joins the Rocks Rocks Pirate. Then she after the fight in Guard Valley, after uh, after the Proposal uh, defeat of Roxy Sebek. Um, they uh, she helped him to get a devil fruit and give Big Mom have a devil fruit, give to Kaido, and that is the the dragon fruit that fish fish no me. That is the fish that swim up from the waterfall in the Chinese mythology, and the guard gets so impressed, impressed, uh, impressed of that. So he give that, uh, yeah. 
that ability the third the fish the big dragon uh, but the thing that, that makes it so special is that when you look at obviously you have to look but when you look at uh, Momonosuke's form when he's the pink dragon and you look at Kaido's form is the blue dragon you see that they, Kaido have four horns not two horns this two, this, this one that looks like a bull horn, or his only horn, it's the only. So this is what I mean. It's not his devil fruit that makes, keeps him alive from all the try, all the attempt for the executions. That it, the reason why all of the execution failed is not because obviously the world government gonna put. If he was a member of the Rocks Pirates, obviously they're gonna put sea stones on him. And sea stones takes away every ability of devil fruit. You are neutralized, totally neutralized. So you cannot, you're gonna turn out to a normal person when you have these chains on you. So obviously what they're gonna have, they don't, what they're gonna do, don't gonna take the risk and just, just try to execute somebody with this kind of powerful devil fruit without taking away their abilities. So this is, and this is also the reason why there is a very difference with because there is an eastern dragon and the eastern dragons is is not as common as the western dragons. The western dragons are famous because they have so hard and scale on the stomachs. There is a reason why uh, they, they, they only like they're really hard to scale, so it's very hard to damage them. But because of um, so the reason why Kaido is almost invincible, you can almost it's almost impossible to defeat him in this way, is because of his Oni. And reason why um, uh, reason why uh, o uh, Oden was able to give him a scar is not really mean anything if you really think about it because. The scar obviously damaged Kaido, obviously, but Kaido. Um, how can I explain this in a very better way? What I mean with this is that think that you are a, a boxer and you get knocked down uh, three rounds, but you never, you always get up before the time goes goes out, and then you knock out your opponent. And you go on and on in the tournament, all the way to you get the gold, uh, you win the gold. And you go in and you never get, you, you're always gonna, Kaido, always, you can knock down Kaido. Maybe the best thing, maybe you can knock down him for, that he's uh, down on the ground maybe in one hour. That he can, but he always gonna get up in the end. And he's gonna always be more, more rest out, rest out than you are. And win the fight. So this is what I mean. That um, that reason for Kaido's invincibility is not not his devil fruit. Is his because of his race, because that he's a oni. This is the reason for that he can get damage, but you cannot kill him. Uh, and this is just uh, a. What I really think here is that really I don't think so many people have think about that is that there is not his devil fruit that is why he's so powerful. Big Mom's devil fruit is 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 very good, but because Big Mom uses it in a way that is not how it's not well dominating uh, tactics. That means that. When if if Blackbeard used Big Man's devil fruit, it's gonna be a totally different result. Um, for that devil fruit and so on. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, this is everything I really want to say. And remember, uh, this is just my prediction for what will happen in One Piece. Obviously, I do not know. Everything can happen. Yeah.